kitchen. Welcome to Cooking with Chris. Today, in this first episode, we have ingredients. We have all kinds of different things. We have some egg. We have... That's not supposed to be. Um, Alright, let's see what we got. Today, I'm going to show you how to cook the your very own, anyway, my personal recipe of the chocolate Team Fortress 2 cake, which is basically a chocolate variation of the Pokemon cake. And it's actually really good. Now what you're going to need, you're going to need Butterfingers, you're going to need eggs, and you're going to need some Betty Crocker's Super Moist Team Fortress 2. So today, we're going to get started. Let me pull up the chair for a moment and sit down with you as we put all of our ingredients into this bowl. Now, basically, it's not that hard. Just gotta mix and make a cake. But while we're mixing and making, getting all this stuff ready, we need to turn on the oven. And now it says to preheat the oven to at least 375. So let's go to bake and put the temperature up to 375. All right, so now that is heating. So while that's heating, we're going to get our ingredients ready. And so basically, first off, we got to pour this in the bowl. So let's pour it in the bowl. going to need to make the chocolate team fortress 2 the chocolate team fortress 2 cake anyway is obviously the devil's food and you bake it like a normal cake you're also going to need the eggs for the cake because you need because we have to follow the ingredients you need one and a half cups of water a half a cup of vegetable oil and three eggs so We'll go ahead and get this all started. You'll also need Team Fortress 2. Hershey's uh, caramel. Hershey's caramel syrup. And some sweetened condensed milk. That will come later than what we need these things. These things will come later after the cake is fully baked. So let's start with the cake. And let's get it prepared. One egg. Two eggs. And three eggs. All right. So now, let's get our one and one fourth cup of water. I'll be back here at the sink. One and one more. Alright, cool. Pour that into the mix. And now our 
vegetable oil, which it says it only needs a half a cup. Right to the line. All right. Sorry, I disappeared off camera there for a minute because I was pouring our vegetable oil. All right. And now, I never really did like using things that were automated. And so, let me get which drawer it is. So I'm very terrible at remembering things. Or remembering where things are, anyway. Get you a giant spoon. Well, I could go ahead and throw these away. That way we're not making such a mess. Go ahead and get you a spoon and let me bring As we got our giant spoon, here is our Team Fortress 2. And so let's go ahead and mix it together. And you have to mix it well together. So make sure you get really deep into it. Make sure you put the muscles into it and mix it well. I grabbed this big spoon because usually using a big spoon helps mixing it a whole lot better. And so make sure you twirl it around. Make sure you get every little inch in there and mixed in. And you mix it for a good, I want to say good two to three minutes, roughly. You make sure you get it all nice and whipped anyway. And when you're doing that, we already have our oven preheating over there. It's almost, it's almost there. So we'll put the camera back over here for a second. And we'll keep on mixing it because you want to make sure that it's nice and mixed. And when you make sure it's nice and mixed, then you have a good cake. And some of you are like, well, where, when's the Team Fortress 2 come into play? After the cake is made. After the cake is baked, anyway. Even though I have thought about putting some mixes of Overwatch into the uh, the mix itself before, but I've never really tried it. I might do it sometime, and I'll tell you guys how how it comes out. It's coming out just fine. We'll make sure it gets all nice in there. And that is good to go. So now we need our baking pan. Which by... Panned it up a little bit. And so, let's pour in the pan. I'll put you guys there for a second. And we're gonna mix it in just a little bit more. Just make sure we have every stitch. Cause we don't want anything dry left in there. You wanna make sure everything is all nice and moist up and ready to go into this. All right, there we go, and you just pour it in. Get every bit. Now, uh, I do not recommend, like how some people, the uh, lick the bowl. <laughs> yeah, I don't recommend doing that because where it has raw eggs in there, you may catch some sal salmonella. So, I don't recommend doing that unless you want to get really, really sick. So don't do it. Okay, take it from Chef Chris. Don't do it. So, now that we have all of that out of the way, our cake is ready to go in the oven. And the oven is just about done preheating. It's literally at the last stages. So, we're going to save these for later. And when we get it in here, you want to keep it in there roughly 30 minutes. So we're going to come over here to our 
to my microwave here. Usually all microwaves, I know it's kind of dark, but usually all microwaves have a timer. And you can time things accordingly. And so, I want to set that for 30 minutes. So when that is almost to 375, as it's climbing, it's about 375. And so now that that is in there, we can begin phase two. Now phase two is very simplistic, as in, we gotta take these guys, and we're gonna crush them up. So, open up the team for this too. Open up the whole thing here and just get them all out. Well, there's this one that does not want to come out. It does not want to. How do we crush them? Hammer. Now, you don't really have to use, per se, a hammer. Hammer. <laughs> and you're not going to literally just sit here and beat the crap out of it. You're going to want to just crush them down. You're going to feel them crush. All right, so there is our cake. As you can see, I did have to, I used a fork just to make sure everything was done and cooked. So, now it's for the fun part. Now, I'm going to try to set the camera, that way you can see everything. But, Team Fortress 2, number one first, obviously. Paul, you can edit that out. See, I'm just Chef Cretus. And I can guarantee you, I will never have a perfect cake. But I can guarantee, guarantee you that this cake is going to be close enough to perfect. So let's go ahead and just keep puncturing the holes down into the cake. Make sure you get it down in the sides as well. Make sure you get all through it you want to make sure you get every little spot not every little spot you don't want the whole cake being full of holes but you want it pretty much like how, how how i have it here and how i have it is basically like that so now you don't want the whole cake being full of holes but you want it pretty much like how, how. step one to putting our cake together. The sweetened condensed milk. It can be great value. We're gonna be using cool whip and using Don't ever touch me. I've told you not to touch me, especially not on my show. Don't touch the cool whip. You've poisoned all of the cool whip. Your germs are in the cool whip. Now, the finishing touch, touch, before the cake is ready to go to its final step, which is basically putting it in the fridge. When I grab our ball of Team Fortress 2. Grab you a handful and just spread it across. This one they can completely crush. There we go. And you want to do that with all of it. You get every corner and then along. Some pieces didn't get completely crushed because of the way I crushed it, but it'll be okay. 
we'll crush it as we go. And as I make a terrible mess. But that's all right. That's okay. Because now our Team Fortress 2 cake is complete. So now our Team Fortress 2 cake is ready to go for the last step. Now the last step is pretty simple and pretty straightforward. We're going to cover it up with some aluminum foil. And then we're going to put it in the fridge and it needs to stay in the fridge for at least an hour to two and a half hours. An hour to an hour and a half, roughly. Take the aluminum foil cover up each corner that way the inside chills and doesn't harden up voila our cake is finally finished now we can that's the wrong one and now we can stick it somehow in the fridge which we'll, we'll definitely get that and we will finish that you know I just thought of, thought of something why did I even make a Team Fortress 2 cake I hate Team Fortress 2 